everyone, we are here at uh, a really awesome location here in Southern Oregon to take a class with Kyle Manzano. So we were taking the RDS pistol class. And if you guys don't know who Kyle Manzano is, A, you're not watching my Training Tuesday videos and B, you're <laughs> slacking a little bit. Um, so if you've seen the Training Tuesday videos, a couple of the drills that I've already done so far come from uh, his drill set. And he also just posts some really great content on Instagram, just kind of giving little tips and tricks and just showing some pretty impressive skill. And it's something that you said towards the end of the class that I really, really enjoyed. And it's the idea of, I know a lot of you guys who are watching this video, if you're even watching it, because not a lot of people watch the training videos. If you want to get better, you can't just do it every now and then. And the way you put, I'll, I'll let you put it your way about the getting six pack abs. So I'm, I'm like 280 pounds of fucking just in and out basically yeah. <laughs> so uh, the way that i said it was if i told you i was going to get a six pack right and i'm going to work out once a month like obviously you'd laugh at me right obviously one i'm 280 but then two because uh if you try to get a six pack only working out once a month you're not going to get anywhere yeah um obviously that that's something if you're trying to get to that upper echelon of like shooters like you need to be fucking eating breathing like shitting this stuff because this is the stuff that um it takes a lot if you're trying to get to that next level. And if you just think like, I'm gonna go to the gym once a month and get that same six pack abs that that dude has, it's not gonna work. Yeah, even with steroids, it's not gonna work. Nope. Uh, so to that point, you know, a wise man once said, the point of training is knowing what and how to practice. And so that's why I'm coming to a class like this. So how would you describe the pistol RDS class? So I think if you look back at the fundamentals, right, it's grip, sights, trigger, right? Grip, sights, trigger, now a lot of people have a pretty okay understanding of their grip and a pretty okay understanding of their trigger. Obviously there's always things to work on. But when I think that there's this new kind of sight that people are starting to develop and, and start to use more frequently, um, I, I don't think they're fully understanding some of the benefits that it has. Uh, like in today's class, right, we were talking about different zeroing distances and I know that there's a big debate on that. Um, there's parallax and how to use that to your benefit. I mean, there's just so many things that red dots do and can do that if you fully understand the system, it just makes you that next level of shooter. Right, absolutely. And the other thing too about becoming that next level shooter is, you know, when you're coming to an event like this, it can be really humbling because A, you're shooting with a very, very skilled instructor to begin with, but then you're also coming to a class where you might be the best shooter in your group of friends, but then you actually see what other people are capable of and it really gives you that drive to, you know, A, you're gonna learn things you didn't realize you didn't know in the class, but then you're gonna see not only here's the idea, but here's someone who can actually do it. So it is doable. And then it just, at least for me, makes me want to strive to attain that level of skill. Um, so that's an invaluable thing that you're not gonna get just mag dumping into trash with your friends. Correct. Now, uh, the reality too is, Pistol dots are the way of the future. If, if you haven't acknowledged that yet, then you're just behind the times. And it is different than shooting with irons. The principles at their core are the same, but there was a lot of stuff that I got out of today. Um, you know, obviously you need to take a class to figure everything out, but even just stuff outside of the red dot, like a better way to draw the pistol that has increased my first shot on target significantly is something I got out of here but then just methods for picking up the dot, methods for if your dot isn't on or it's occluded in some way, just basically giving me a whole lot more confidence in being able to run my dot in any situation. Absolutely. Now, you wouldn't say that this is an entry level class, so who, who is this class for? This class is for the people who have a understanding of the skill sets and the fundamentals who wanna further sharpen them. That's yeah. what my class is at. In, at like in general are right i practice i know how to shoot i know how to work the gun but i'm not as fast as those guys and mm -hmm. i don't know why right we make sure that we come in and we kind of point out some of the deficiencies so that you know what to leave here with so that mm -hmm. you can continue to work on that so hopefully next time we see you or next time we go to another instructor you are uh, ready for them and you're not um, lacking in those same fundamentals well and to that point too it the sooner you take the training to figure out what your deficiencies are mm -hmm. the better you're going to be because i have this tendency when i'm shooting to get really tense up with that pistol and i've had instructors since like in the last couple of classes i've taken keep commenting on that and I'll try to focus on it, but I just kind of revert back to what my muscle memory is, which I know people debate on the concept of muscle memory, but I still do it and- You debate, I mean, you, you, you go back to the shit that you've been doing. Exactly. Right? Whatever you want to call it. Right? Exactly. Muscle memory, not muscle memory, whatever. You, and yeah. it's because I wasn't taking enough training early on when I was developing my habits and now I'm having to try to 
learn my way out of that. So it's extremely, extremely valuable to take classes and you don't have to be an expert shooter to come to something like this. If you're the best person at a class, you're probably not learning as much. It's okay to not be the best shooter in the class. Sometimes you gotta swallow your pride, be willing to miss shots in front of people on a timer, be willing to be slower than other people on a timer um, because that's where you're gonna learn. That's where you're gonna learn where you need to push yourself. And I just think it's an invaluable skill that you cannot get outside of an environment like this. 1000%, and if you have good quality instructors, um, not tooting my own dick, but like when I go to other classes as a student, mm -hmm. when you have a good quality instructor that you're going to, the students who come are typically good quality students and good quality shooters, yeah. but they're just good dudes or good chicks like at the end of the day. So it's a fun environment, it's mm -hmm. a good time, and everyone's just there to push each other and just get faster and better. So absolutely, yeah, cannot recommend it enough, man. Now. To that point too, um, you don't just teach classes here in Southern Oregon because you're not even from this area. No. So where are you teaching and how can people find a list of classes? So I'm from California. I teach mainly in the Bay Area, California area, but um, I've recently been starting to teach kind of all over the country. And that's been a good time. That's been um, super fun. I mean, dude, fuck. I mean, I know the camera, on the other side of the camera though, it's just like, this is a, this is like a Microsoft background of a fucking view, dude. This is yeah. beautiful. Um, but on my website, manzanotactical.com, that's where all of our, our trainings are and um, yeah. Yeah, so again, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of training because again, just from this experience at the range, I know now what I wanna take home and be practicing to improve my skills to start to get to the level of some of the other shooters in the class, let alone the instructor himself. And one thing too that I appreciate, you can always tell to me a good instructor is someone who not only is telling you what to do, but then also demonstrates that it is possible and performs it at a high level. That's something that he does and that's something I really appreciate and something you should be looking for in your instructors. That being said, I'm sure you would tell people, don't just take your classes, take whatever classes they can, no. but yeah, you know. take, take as many, no, it's, it's one of those things where if you only ever know one ice cream flavor, you don't know which one's your favorite, dude. Go out there and fucking learn from every instructor you can. Uh, I'm a huge fan of fuck, Mark from First Spence, Rick from Achilles, Donovan Point One. I mean, there's so many like high level instructors out there. Just watch videos of them shooting, watch videos of them talking. You're like, I wanna learn from that guy. Yeah. Well, the same wise man I referenced earlier always says to throw a rock in any direction, you'll hit a firearms instructor, throw two and you'll hit a good one. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities out there, but again, please, please take a class. Once you take that first class, you'll probably catch the bug like I have and just want to take more classes. So Kyle, thank you very much for your time appreciate in the class. You, thank you very much for coming. Um, I appreciate it, Tom. I'll link the, to his website down below, also his Instagram. He's pretty active over there, so it's a, definitely a good follow worth your time. Yeah. And he also provides a lot of training materials for free on his website, like targets, standards, and all that kind of stuff. His cold start standard drill is one that's a really good way to kind of push yourself first thing at the range. A good way to wake up. <laughs> Absolutely. Like wake up in the morning, just fucking go run the cold standard. That's a good time. Uh, awesome. So. so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and throw those in the comment section down below. If you have questions for him, maybe going over to his Instagram is going to be the best place for that. But that being said, as always, I hope you got something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching.